you guys like magic? Well, I have a really, really cool magic trick, okay? But it really isn't magic. We'll call it the magic of science, right? One day I saw a magician. Okay, I have three daughters and they love going to parties and there was a magician at the party. And magicians wear what? They wear hats. So this magician took off his hat and he said to my daughter, he said, hey Riley, come here. And he said, do me a favor. I want you to pour this water into my hat. Now think about it. Water is a liquid, right? Liquids flow, you can touch the water, you can hold the water, liquids change their shape. So she said, wait a minute, you want me to pour the liquid into your hat? He said, that's right, pour it into my hat. So my daughter took the liquid, okay? She poured the entire cup of water into his hat. Now remember, it's a liquid. So if it was in the cup, it's the shape of the cup. When it went into his hat, it was the shape of his hat. Two seconds later, the magician took the hat and he put it on Riley's head. And she thought she was gonna get wet, so she screamed, like, no! And all of a sudden, the water was gone. She's the one that put it into the hat. She knows she did it, but it was gone. It was magic, right? Actually, it wasn't magic. Do you know what the magician used? See, he had a trick up his sleeve. He had a special button in that hat. And when he pressed the button, something shot out. Do you know what that was? Well, I have it. You guys know what this is? Probably, hopefully, you don't wear these anymore, okay? But you see, this diaper, believe it or not, has something inside of it that is exactly the same powder that the magician had in his hat. It's called diaper powder. You see, if I took a scissor and I actually cut this diaper open, you're gonna notice that there's cotton and there's different types of materials, but if you went through it, you're gonna find inside of that diaper, there's a powder. This powder does something so amazing, okay, that you just have to see it. Now, nobody was able to see what happened in that hat because the hat was black, it's opaque. You can't see two things that are opaque. You can't see my heart because I'm opaque, right? But watch, what if I took a glass of water? Check this out. We're gonna make the water disappear using cups that are clear. I like to rhyme. Watch this, pour half a cup of water, okay? We can make this water green just so that you can see it more clearly, okay? And I'm gonna stir it around. And in this cup, that's gonna be our magician's hat or the diaper or just in this case, the disappearing water cup. Now, you don't wanna use a giant heaping teaspoon and that's not gonna be in your diaper anyway. You probably could get about a teaspoon. And I'm gonna pour it in. Guys, you're not allowed to take the powder and pour it into the water. Cause think about it, when a baby goes to the bathroom, are you sprinkling the powder when they go to the bathroom or are they going into the powder? They're going into the powder. So, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna hold this, okay? I'm gonna pour, and I'm gonna pour quickly. Think about it, when babies go to the bathroom, it's pretty fast, okay? You better get them to the bathroom fast, quickly. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pour. Ready, set, go, oh, wait, liquid, liquids flow, liquids flow. All of a sudden, I'm now gonna take this cup. That liquid is in this cup. You saw it happen, right? Abracadabra, alakazoo, the liquid spell is not on you. And the water is gone. You see that? It's on top of my head. Boys and girls, I'm not a magician. This powder is known to be super absorbent. When something is absorbent, it means it's being sucked up. My shirt could absorb water, okay? Think about a paper towel when you have a spill. Mommy says get a towel, you place the paper towel, the towel will absorb and suck up the water. This powder sucked up the water to the point where it will never let it go. Check this out. I could actually squeeze the cup and look at this. I turned the water and it's trapped and it will not come out. Look, and if you wanna do a really cool second part to this experiment, but I'm not gonna tell you what happens, put this back in your cup Okay, and ask mom or dad or whoever you live with for salt. Salt that you put on french fries or salad. And take a teaspoon of salt, sprinkle it, one teaspoon. Sprinkle it on top of what happened here and just leave it there for a couple minutes and observe what happens. So this is sort of a two-part experiment. It's teaching you about absorbencies and you're gonna see what happens after you do the second part of this experiment, okay? Have fun, become a magician slash scientist and investigate.